Hi, this is Ellen from the Chili Dog, and today I want to show you how to knit cables without a cable needle. This technique can be especially useful when you don't have a cable needle handy or when you're making small cables where only a couple of stitches are crossed around each other. So I'm currently knitting a pair of beekeeper socks and this pattern has tiny cables where only two stitches are crossed over each other. So I could form the cables in the traditional way by slipping one stitch onto a cable needle and holding it at the front or the back, then knitting one stitch and then knit the stitch that's held on my cable needle but it just feels slow and fidgety to do small cables this way. Instead, I'm gonna set my cable needle aside and cross my stitches a different way. Let me show you how. I've stitched up a little practice swatch that has a couple two stitch cables that cross to the left and a couple that cross to the right. So first let's try crossing our stitches so that this cable slants to the left. So whenever you're creating a cable, you're basically just changing the order of the stitches on your needle so they cross over each other. For my left slanting cable, I want to cross these stitches so that I can easily see one of them crossing to the left. So imagine that my two fingers are the first two stitches on the needle. I want the first stitch to cross over the second stitch so that I can see it slanting towards the left and the second stitch is going to go underneath the first stitch. Since I'm making a left leaning cable, I'm gonna keep these two stitches on my left needle. So the second stitch is going to be behind the first. So I'll insert my other needle into the stitch that's staying at the back on the back. Next, I'm going to carefully slide my left needle out of both stitches and then reinsert it into the stitch that's staying at the front on the front side of my work. Finally, return the stitch that's on the right needle to the left so I can start knitting. And now my two stitches are crossed and I can knit each of the stitches. and my cable is complete. So now I'm gonna knit a couple stitches and we'll try it one more time. Since we're making a left leaning cable, I'm gonna keep the first two stitches on my left needle. I'm going to insert the other needle through the stitch that's staying at the back, which in this case is the second stitch pull the left needle out of both stitches and reinsert it into the stitch that's staying at the front of the work on the front side of your work and then return the stitch that's on the right needle to the left so you can continue knitting. So my stitches are crossed and now I can knit each stitch. So again, my cable slants here up to the left. So now I'm gonna knit a couple more stitches and then we'll try a right slanting cable. So again, imagine that my two fingers are the two stitches on the left needle, the first two. This time I want the second stitch to cross over the first so that I can easily see it slanting up and to the right. And this first stitch will cross underneath the second. This time, since I'm making a right leaning cable, I'm actually going to slip both of my stitches to the right needle before I cross them. The first stitch is going to be behind the second. So I'll insert my other needle at the back of my work through the stitch that's staying at the back. 
Then carefully pull the right needle out of both stitches and reinsert it at the front of my work into the stitch that's staying at the front. Now I'll return the stitch on the right needle to the left so that I can start knitting. And then I'll knit those two stitches. And this time you can see the stitch that is crossed is leaning to the right. So let me knit a couple more stitches and then we'll try it one more time. Since I want my cable to lean to the right, I'm going to slip the two stitches that I'm cabling to my right needle before crossing them. The first stitch is going to be behind the second. So I'll insert my other needle at the back of my work through the stitch that's being held at the back. Carefully slide the left needle out of both stitches and then back through the stitch that's staying at the front, at the front of the work, and then return the stitch from the right needle to the left so we can start knitting, and then knit those two stitches. And again, we have a little cable that's crossed to the right. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create cables without a cable needle. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, happy knitting.